Welcome or welcome back. This is Aria from Ugly Duckling Passing Vlog. Thank you for being here. Today is an update of a departure from my usual video. I'm going to get right into the topic, uh, which I file under. It isn't just me that feels uncomfortable with this topic. I would absolutely love to get your opinion. So, potentially controversial or not. Guess we'll see. So, a few months ago, I came across a video from someone I do subscribe to, Anisu Seganda, uh, who had made a reaction video to a video by Super Jacob uh, regarding do the poor uh, shop luxury stores in order to look rich. And overall, I felt that both creators offer wonderful content and thought provoking insights. I agree with some of their ideas and not so much with others. However, it was when I came to this clip by Super Jacob and then the following by Anusu Seganda that I began to feel uncomfortable. And thus, I'm, I'm doing my, my very first reaction video. Coco Chanel said it best, and I will never stress enough to repeat this. We're going to talk about luxury. We're going to talk about vulgarity. We're going to talk about poverty. Luxury is not the opposite of poverty. Luxury is the opposite of vulgarity. There's another quote by Coco Chanel that beautifully complements the one you've just said. I love luxury, and luxury lies not in richness and ornateness, but in the absence of vulgarity. Vulgarity is the ugliest word in our language. I stay in the game to fight it. And to me, everything just hinges around the word vulgarity. It's the ugliest word. So is it just me or did you find uh, some of those quotes uh, to be a, a little bit cringy? Uh, before you, I can see you typing in your comments now, will you respond? Uh, let's look back at some of uh, Coco Chanel's history uh, or uh, alleged history. And also, since we're on the topic of vulgarity, uh, let's first dissect that word. So, uh, if you look up vulgarity, the definition is the state of being vulgar. Very useful, right? Uh, so I have here a definition of, of vulgar. Lacking in cultivation, perception, or taste. Morally crude, undeveloped, or regenerate. Ostentatious or excessive in expenditure or display. We also have offensive in language and uh, lewdly or profanely indecent. And now going back to a, a very, very brief history of, of Coco Chanel. You know, besides her, her wonderful success as a businesswoman, there are a lot of um, allegations uh, that she was anti-Semitic and homophobic and uh, purportedly collaborated with the Nazis during World War II. I've even seen some online resources uh, reporting that she had an agent number, uh, which was F7124, and that her code name was Westminster. And as I understand it, Coco Chanel was uh, tried for these crimes, but was not convicted uh, due to her close relationship with Winston Churchill. In addition, Coco Chanel did not always treat her employees very well, and at one point in time, they actually did rally against her, only to be laid off. In addition, there is how she uh, treated her former business partner, who happened to be Jewish. But, you know, we don't want to digress too much. So yes, she was a visionary and a highly efficient businesswoman. And at the same time, how or why are we still using her gravitas, her history, to give us permission to have our own opinions? And by that I mean, why is it that both Anna Susaganda and Super Jacob referenced Chanel in order to validate their own opinions. They are their own experts. You know, they have uh, well-established channels here on YouTube, and if they believe that loud luxury is vulgar, then I respect their opinion. I don't agree with it, but I respect that. I respect their opinion. I respect their ideas and feelings about this topic. And what I take issue with is, cute controversy, is Chanel with her questionable moral character, uh, who we want to be quoting or referencing as a validation to our opinions on vulgarity. And I don't know, perhaps we are differing on the way that we're using the term vulgarity. To me, uh, being an allegedly 
homophobic anti-Semite who doesn't treat others very well is, well, kind of vulgar. Uh, actually, it's not kind of vulgar, it's kind of the, the definition of vulgar. I mean, it's not the same kind of vulgar as wearing a logo and classic handbag, uh, but I'd much rather be the type of person to do that than to be a hateful human being. Allegedly. Why do we continue to lionize? Uh, yes, she's an icon, but that doesn't mean that she was a, a good human being. And, and do we need to have her as a reference point in order to validate our own opinions? I don't know, what are your thoughts? So, as this video began, it will end. I will say, maybe it's just me. Again, I would love to know your thoughts. Please comment below. And I also want to thank uh, Anisu Saganda and Super Jacob for making those videos and bringing this topic up. It was really interesting. And I encourage everyone watching this video to check out their channels. And I want to thank you again for joining me today. I so appreciate your time. As always, uh, be healthy, be happy, be empowered. And most importantly, be you. See you next time. Take care.